What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit the bell icon so we so you can be notified for future videos. Well, we got a fight coming up tonight. Well, fights coming up tonight. Jamel Charlo versus Jason Rosario. And Jamal Charlo versus Sergey Dervianchenko. I'm going to give my breakdown of both fights. Of what I think. Of what I'm going to see. Now, first, before I get started, I want to say that um, I want to, I'm, I'm going to try to do a live stream. You know, try to. Uh, it all depends on whether that um, I got a liquid cooler coming for my CPU. You know what I'm saying? If that gets here and I get to bench it and everything turns out correct ahead of time, I got to do that live stream. You know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, it's just a thought. But I will let y'all know. I, I I'm I might just go ahead and order that fight. I think I am. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, I, I, I want to see this. I mean, I got show times, but I don't really look at it. All, you know, it's easy to get it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, let's start with the fight that I'm really interested in. I mean, I'm interested in both of them. But this one, I think, has more flair to it and that's Jamel Charlo versus Jason Rosario and the reason why I say it has more flair to it is because Jamel Charlo just recently got his belt he got got his belt back Jason Rosario just took his belt took it from Julian J Rock Williams and that was a shocker to me. So let me tell you where I first saw Jason Rosario. First time I saw Jason Rosario was against Jamonte Clark in 2018. Because I actually did a video about that fight. And to me, it looked like Jamonte Clark just gave um, Jason Rosario what he wanted. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that Jason Rosario was doing anything spectacular. He was taking advantages of the opportunities that was given to him which he did and he's very good at that so i'm not saying he's a bad fighter he's a very good fighter you know what i'm saying and when i see them fight julian j rock williams the problem i had with with with, with um julian williams is is that julian williams didn't do what julian williams do he didn't box he tried to brawl with this guy you can't brawl with him are you crazy yo he's yo he, he's he's built for that he loves that. He know he's slick in there. He knows how to use he knows how to use his body to to block your shots and he gets his punches in, but he do get hit. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. I question his defense a little bit. I'm talking about Jason Rosario. Now, let's get to Jam um Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo, he's he seems in his last fight he just went he just went right at the guy but at times he seems to be a little bit um I'm looking for the word for it over anxious at times he seems to be a little bit over anxious and it's it still it 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 translate to to hits you know, because he throws, he throws, a, he, he'll throw him and he'll throw him. But I see a Jamel Charlo a little bit more mature right now. He's not, he's a little bit more refined. And even in his conversation in the, um, you know, on interviews and stuff like that. And that, that tells you a lot where a, person, a person's head is. Now, Rewinding back to a conversation uh, to an interview that I heard Jason Rosario and Jason Rosario said, "Look, I'm prepared to to for a short fight, but you know if it goes a distance, it goes a distance." So basically, he telling me that he coming in there to take your head off, bro. You know what I'm saying? But here's my thing with Jason Rosario that can play into. Jamel Charlo hands if Jamel Charlo is coming in with the mindset. I think he's going to come in. Jason Rosario is coming forward. And 
to me, that's kind of tailor-made for Jamel Charlo because that uppercut is just right there for the making. Now, don't get it twisted. Jason Rosario, he crunches in now, so he makes it hard, but there is opportunities for him to get hit and get hit, hit. You know what I'm saying? I don't think any of those guys that he fought, Jason Rosario fought, has Jamel Charlo power. You know what I'm saying? And that's just my opinion. You know, so, you know, I'm, I, I want to see the strategies, but it seems like Jason Rosario's strategy is what it is. Come for it. Let's fight. And he's good at it. So, you know, I, but he can be hit. Jamal, I mean, Jamel Charlo, I, I would, like I said, I expect him to, you know, to use his head and show his maturity, you know, and, and, and possibly finesse him, you know what I'm saying? And not, he wouldn't have to get on the inside. He, he can, he can even, I wouldn't, I, me personally, I, would, I wouldn't fight on the inside with Jason Rosario. I, I, that would not be my game plan. My game plan, if it is, it would be get in and get out and then, you know, to give him a, a variety. But other than that, I'm not, I wouldn't stay inside with him. He's a hard hitter. He's good. He's good on the inside. He's very, very good inside fighter. You know what I'm saying? So, and that, that, that would be a dangerous thing to do to go toe to toe with the guy. Not saying that Jamel couldn't take the hits, but I, I, me personally, I wouldn't suggest it. Now, Jamal Charlo, J, J, yeah, J, um, Jamal versus Sergey Dervianchenko. Sergey Dervianchenko he's another one who comes for it. He got a he got a decent he, he he has a decent arsenal of punches but his mainstay is in the inside just like Jason Rosario. Except I think he's a better fighter on the inside and he's uh he he can take he can take some hits. I I couldn't tell you if Jason Rosario chin is like, you know, solid, solid like that, because I watched Sergey Dervianchenko get dropped by um, Triple G and get back up, and a lot of people think that Sergey Dervianchenko won that fight. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I say I, I'm, I'm, you know, iffy with that fight. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to look at it again just to make sure. That's the only reason why I say that. But um. Sergey Dervianchenko fought, you know, he fought uh, um, Daniel Jacobs, and he did really good against them, you know what I'm saying? But when he fought Triple G, you know, he did that. Those were his only two losses right there. But like I said, the, the Triple G fight is very, very, very controversial, and he's a come forward type of guy. And Jamal Charlo. Is he's he's a, he's he's a taller guy. He 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 can use he he has an arsenal of punches, man. That uppercut is devastating. You know what I'm saying? He got a good jab. He moves around a bit more than 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 his brother. You know what I'm saying? And he uses his head a little bit more. But that I I, I like I said when it comes to um um Jamel, I have to see. You know I'm from what he sounded like in his interviews, he sounded like he matured some. So that normally translates in the ring. But we'll see. Now his like back to his brother. I think that Dervianchenko is tailor made for him personally because he comes for it, and that that plays right into either brother's hands if you come for it, you know, and, and it plays into their power too. And you could J Rock found out the hard way, you know, and J Rock has has and still has that tendency of his head is leaning forward out ahead of his toes. You know what I'm saying? And when it's like that, basically you're sticking your head out there and he he does it at times to where if somebody intelligent will pick up on it and they'll time it and boom, he, he'll get caught. And, you know, when he, he did that against Jamal Charlo and that uppercut was, oh my God, it was devastating, B caught him sweet he was gone you know what i'm saying he got back up but he was he was done man there's no way you got caught that sweet just so solid sweet and those brothers are pretty good with them uppercuts if you wanted them come forward type of people they do think in the ring despite what some of you, some people think 
You know what I'm saying? And like I said, Jamal Charlo, he's he's the to me he's he's a little bit more refined than his brother in the ring. So I see Dervy and Chinko is a tough dude. So, I, I, but I don't think that Dervy and Chinko fought anybody he fought has the power of uh, of Jamal. You know, I think Jamal is probably one of the strongest dudes in that division. But we will see. So that's my take on the fight. You know what I'm saying? I see Jamel Charlo and Rosario. Rosario, he 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 can pull it off if 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 Jamel plays the inside game. If Jamel plays the outside game and thinks he he can beat him, he can keep him on the outside. Um, with Jamal Charlo, it's gonna be a tough fight on both sides. If, if um, Dervianchenko gets in the inside, then we got a problem. You know, if Jamal Charlo keeps him on, keep, keep keeps him on the outside, yeah, he could pull that out, and you know, just basically time him and catch him with a good shot. He could possibly get him, but you know, Dervianchenko, that knockdown that he had against Triple G, it was just a flash knockdown. It wasn't nothing serious. He got him. Went right back at it. So I don't question his chin, but against Jamal Charlo, we'll see. OMB signing out. Peace.